Hi guys, it's Mina. Welcome back. We are uh, testing and working with Mix again today. This is super exciting. I love this stuff. It's great. It's super, super thick and creamy and just everything is mixed up so beautifully. So um, when I first started, I did what probably many of you had done and realized Golden's is like gold standard of paint. It's the best stuff. And I really was dying to work with it. And I'd seen some people using it. So I bought big, huge bottles golden fluid acrylics and tried to use it and because it's so thin was lost and had no clue what to do with it and I you know over the last year or so I've started to use them more but when I got mix and it was super thick and creamy I got excited because I want to try the golden fluid acrylics and the high flow acrylics in with mix to see what happens so that's what we're doing today these are all either golden fluid acrylics or high flow acrylics so this should be very exciting I'm dying to see how this is going to work out let me show you my colors real quick. This one is a 20 by 20 inch gallery wrapped canvas from Artist Loft. I have taped the back and put my push pins in. So we are ready to go. Let me show you the colors. This first one is Golden's Van Dyke Brown. This is a fluid acrylic. And just look at that. It's beautiful. Mound on a mound on a mound. So creamy, delicious, and dark and luscious. Just, ugh. Fantastic. They should call this stuff luscious mix because that's what it is. <laughs> okay, this one is actually a high flow. This is the high flow turquoise. Excuse my messy bottle. Anyway, this is the high flow turquoise. So these come, if they have that lid on them, it's probably high flow. If they have this flat squirty lid, then it's probably the fluid acrylics. And the high flow are a little thinner than the fluid acrylics. So there is a difference between those two. So just be aware. Anyway, this is the high flow turquoise. Just absolutely delicious. And I was like, oh. <laughs> okay, this is the 20, I'm sorry, this is this one, Golden's Iridescent Gold Fine in the high flow acrylics. And it mixed up beautifully. Not as thick because these are very thin. So it thinned it out just a touch, but that's okay. That's perfectly all right with me. Uh, next one we have is their Iridescent Copper. And this is just, I'm really looking forward to this one. Just dreamy my copper obsession <laughs> okay next one we have is golden's phthalo blue this one is just amazing color that depth it's just beautiful so i'm very excited about that now this one is the transparent iron oxide which is this bottle right here and this is a fluid acrylic beautiful color really really delicious and it, it works so well with the gold and with the Van Dyke brown and with the turquoise. So I'm very excited about this one. And the last one we have is just a little bit of nickel azo gold. I'm not sure because this one's very close to the transparent iron oxide. So we'll see what happens. So for a 20 by 20 canvas, we need 16 ounces of paint. So let's go ahead and layer our cup and get that going. Okay, so. 16 ounces is about right here. So let's just put a little mark so you guys can tell where I'm supposed to stop. Okay, let's start. I'm actually gonna put a tiny bit of turquoise in the center. Ooh, and I had another idea today. Instead of pouring with the spout part, I'm gonna try to pour with the flat part and see how that goes, if it's differently. So I'm actually gonna layer the cup this way. So a little bit of turquoise. Nice and creamy, beautiful that is. Oh, love it. Okay, now we're going to put a tiny bit of gold in there. Just a little bit. And we're going to come in. Well, let's put some of that iron oxide in next. And. I'm going to put some Van Dyke Brown in. Now, brown is a color that's highly underrated. Van Dyke Brown is one of the most beautiful colors. It's so deep and so rich, and it makes these amazing shadows and gives your pore so much depth. So if you use it correctly, you don't even really notice that it's there, but your painting has a lot more depth because of the shadows that it creates. So you don't want it to be like 
overpowering and the whole pour be brown because who wants that but in the right way when you use it correctly layered it's it's an amazing amazing color okay i'm going to put some copper on top of that okay and a little bit more gold now actually let's put a layer of the phthalo blue in first And then we're going to go some gold. And come back to that turquoise again. Actually, let's do some more of the iron oxide. Are we getting close? Yeah, we're getting close to the 16 ounce mark. So there's our turquoise. The bird. <laughs> so that's about 16 ounces there, but I'm not quite done yet, so that's okay. I'm going to put a little bit of brown on top of this, and a little bit more copper as well. And I only got one layer of blue in there, so I'm going to put a little bit more blue on top too. Okay, so we probably hit... 18 ounces. <laughs> That's all right. It'll be fine. Okay. Let's move that over. And I didn't drip all over the place. See? Ha-ha! All right. This is a 20 by 20. So, we're going to pour a little puddle of gold into the center. I guess that's not so little, but that's okay. Oh, and we were going to pour it this way this time. This is an exciting step. So instead of holding it by the handle and pouring it from the spout, I'm pouring it right here. I'm going to wipe these up. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? I am indeed, lass. Ooh, yay. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Good. That's pretty cool. I'm going to turn that around. That's gorgeous. I love the separation in there. Really pretty. Okay. Because we didn't use the nickel azo gold at all, I'm going to thin that one out and use that as my flow extender. And so this stuff is very reactive to water. It can go from super, super thick, the mix, super thick, and then just a, literally a few drops of water, and it thins out a lot. So I'm putting a lot in there because I want to make it a lot thinner to use as our flow extender. So it should just sink when I'm done with it instead of leaving a mound on a mound, which it's still doing. <laughs> so the other really nice thing about mix is that I didn't use a lot of paint at all. Some of these it was like a half an ounce. I mean, these are eight ounce cups, so I put about seven ounces of mix in there. And half an ounce, an ounce of paint. All right, that's pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna shove this back down just a tiny bit. Okay. And the cells go next. Oh, okay, here we go. And when you're pouring this, don't pour it right next to it, real, real, real close. Kind of leave a little bit of space because your paint does spread out. And you don't want to make a mistake and go over your pour by accident. That would not be good. You can always come back and fill in and get some on our corners. Okay. Spread that out. 
It's such a weird color, this one, the nickel azo. This is quinacridone nickel azo gold. And it's, it looks kind of strange here, but when it's in the pore, it's really an amazing color. It's very similar to that, the transparent iron oxide. But this one, it's kind of, I don't know, it's deeper. It's got like a mustard in it too. If you can see the sort of yellowish, but it's very pretty. I know it looks weird on here right now, but don't worry. <laughs> It'll be okay. So this is kind of amazing. A ring pour with Golden's Fluid Acrylics. Wow. <laughs> And the reason that's amazing is because they are very, very thin. And to be able to do a ring pour alone and get keep its shape is amazing. And to have it look good is even more amazing. So, okay. That's pretty good. Let's get some on our sides. So, let me move these, and we will get to tilting. Wipe that down now. <laughs> Make it easier to wash later. side do I like the most? I definitely love this and I love this and I love that. And there's some really beautiful rings in here. And you see the Van Dyke brown over there. Not a lot, just with some beautiful stripy cells on top of it. Very cool. I think we're going to go off this way first. There's a little bit too much paint on here. There is. You see that's that 18 ounces instead of 16 ounces. But that's okay. We can work with this. So we're going to go off that corner first, and I am going to go all the way off, because when I don't, I end up with that weird triangular thing that I really don't like. Just like that float to the corner, and go over, okay, and I lost the part that I like the most, but there's a little bit on there, a little bit of the brown left, okay. Let's go back down to the other corner. We're taking the weight of the paint back to the middle. And go down up the other side. Come back to the center again. So let's look at this for a second and see what we see. I'm just going to cover up these edges so that they're not bright orange yellow. Okay. So 
So this is pretty cool. Couple of observations. What I like and what I'm loving about this. I love the turquoise and I love the gold. I really like that part over there with the brown and the, the transparent red oxide and the gold. That's really pretty. This part up here is looking a little dark. And that's because the only really contrast color I'm using is the gold. And I didn't put that much in. So this part didn't get any. So don't kill me, but I think I am going to repour this one. We're just going to stretch out some of the paint off of here and get it off. And then we're going to layer our cup one more time. I don't know. Let's see. After we stretch this out, it might brighten up and open up. There are beautiful lines on here. And it is really remarkable to be able to do a ring pour with Golden's Fluid Acrylics. That's kind of crazy. See, that's really pretty. But it's a little... Wow. Depth in there. Oh my gosh. I don't know. What do you think, HOA? Pour it again? I'm going to try. Because it looks Dark. Huh? It looks bitching. Bitchin'? Bitchin', really? Bitchin's like, mm, nostalgic awesome. <laughs> I really like it, actually. I'm just worried that it's going to get too dark. Okay, I do want to do it again. Okay. So, I'm actually going to go rinse out my cup. I will be right back. Okay, we're back. So, I have washed out my cup because I didn't want the residual muddy stuff that was in there at the bottom affecting the pour. This actually is looking really, really amazing and really cool, but I still kind of want to do it again anyway. So we're going to move that over for a second. There's all that paint on the table. Okay, so now that I know that the gold is actually going to show up, I'm not going to be as cautious in using it. I'm going to use it a little bit more. So I still, I did like that pouring it from the side though. We're going to do that again. So I'm going to start with some gold this time and then some of the turquoise again. And if you do wash your cup, make sure you dry it really, really well before you start putting paint in it. Otherwise, it's going to thin out your paint and you're going to get these weird sections. Okay, I'm going to do the Van Dyke Brown again. And another layer of gold. So I'm going to use small layers of gold as a contrast in between. We're going to use that transparent iron oxide again because I really like that effect. That was beautiful with the copper. We're going to put another small layer of gold. And then we're going to start with some of this phthalo. And we don't need 16 ounces again this time because it's going to push that stuff out of the way. I'm going to put another layer of the Van Dyke Brown in. more of that iron oxide, some gold, and some copper, and some more turquoise. So pretty. <laughs> Just watching it like roll down the side of the cup is awesome. Um, okay. a little bit of our phthalo blue, and some gold, and the copper, and one last layer. Might as well use it, right? A little bit of gold left. Okay. Let's do this. Okay. <laughs>
<laughs> Here we go. Let that stretch out for a second. Spread. Actually, I'm going to torch it. You didn't torch it last time. All right, let's tilt this. So we're going to go that way first since that's the way that the paint seems to want to be moving. like this so I'm gonna take it off right now while it's there on the edge stretch it out. If there's something you like, like, get rid of it and don't stretch it out because if you stretch it out you're never going to get rid of it all. <laughs> That's really pretty actually, I really like that. I think we're going to leave that like that. I don't know, what do you think? Do you like this part or should I get rid of it? One second, honey, we're shooting. I'm just gonna leave the tip of that on there. I feel like it. Okay, so that's pretty cool. It's still a little dark, but I think that because of the gold in it, it's gonna lighten up a lot when it starts to dry and end up being pretty cool. I'm still just thrilled that we've done a ring pour with high flow and with uh, the fluid acrylics. That's amazing to me. <laughs> it's such a trip, but very cool. Okay, so that's pretty good. Um, the last ones I did with this dried pretty fast. It was like a day and a half, so it's pretty awesome. I will show you guys when it's dry. Thank you so much for hanging out with us and experimenting with us and I hope that this has inspired you to realize that you can actually 
use those. I think almost everybody has bought a bottle of <laughs> the fluid acrylics or the high flow at one point and been like, ah, what do I do with this? So now we have something you can do with it, which is kind of awesome. So I'll see you guys when this one's dry. Okay. So this is a few days later. This is our Golden's Fluid Acrylics test with mix and some of the high flow acrylics. It came out really, really cool. I love this bling. And the color on here is just amazing. You can see how it's shining and glistening and shimmering. This is so pretty though. Beautiful separation of the lines and the colors. Gorgeous colors. So pretty over here. I love this part where the turquoise blended with the gold and then up here with the copper. Just nah, so pretty. Hello, Zen. <laughs> Anyways, this one turned out really, really cool. So I was just so jazzed and like thrilled to be able to do a ring pour with the Goldens, the high flow stuff and the fluid acrylics. Cause you know, I, I bet a lot of you guys have a bottle of it laying around too going, but what do I do with it? So now it's definitely something we can do with it to have it not be so thin and still get that amazing pigment. And it's awesome because you can adjust the color with just a drop or two more, which is kind of awesome. So I really like this. This reminds me of those mountains in Arizona with all the bunch of different colors in them. The striations, like in the Grand Canyon. It's such a beautiful place. I really like this one a lot. So, what should we call it? Sedona. We already have a Sedona. And we have a Sedona too, also. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. I will put the link for the mix in the description. And I ask you guys to be patient. This stuff was made by two lovely ladies who are artists themselves and scientists and came up with this stuff. But it is just two ladies. So they're doing their best to, to get everything sent out. And they are working very, very hard to get it sent internationally to Canada and to the rest of the world. So. I ask for your patience and kindness. Thank you. Um, shipping, if you buy two bottles, I think it's a cheaper shipping price than if you buy just one. So check that out. And uh, that's it. I will see you guys for the next time. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. We'll see you soon.